Hello everybody, it is Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2, and in this video we're going to do some awesome stuff. But first, I wanted to tell you a cool way to clear this screen. Alright, so uh, as you can see we have all this junk, and the best way to do this, here let me sc uh, sh shrink this down some, oh! There's a spider hanging from the wall. Get the, get me wrong. Okay, uh, I think we're good. Right, okay, where was I? Okay, so anyways, if you ever get frustrated just because the, the screen's a mess and you have all these errors and it just frustrates you, well, I'm gonna show you how to quickly clear that. Uh, this is just kind of a little fix just to kind of make things more clear. So what we can do is we can use the print function. So I know I haven't really explained much about functions, but the print function is just going to display data right below once we press enter. And one thing we can display is called the new line, and it looks like that. And when we pr pr uh, press enter, it literally just creates a new line. So it echoed one, I mean, sorry, it printed one line on the screen. Well, we can take that same concept and we can multiply it by, let's say, we can multiply by 40. And then when we press enter, boom. We still have our old data, it just dragged us down to where we don't have to see all this garbage. Another solution, of course, is to just X out of it and then reopen it, although that may cause you to lose a lot of your work. So that might not be the best solution. Another solution that you can do is uh, you can create your own function, which I know this is like way more advanced than we should be going, but this is just an example of what you can do. So we can call the print function, and then we can go back and type in, we want to print a new line, and we'll just print that 60 times. And then we can press enter twice, so we go back to uh, typing, and then we can call that function like this and boom, it brings us down 60 lines. So that's just an example of ways you can clear the screen. So now whenever I'm, I'm frustrated because I got all these errors, I can just be like, CLS for a clear screen. Oops, I didn't mean to put that plus there. CLS, boom, clean as clean. All right, now on to the actual topic of this video, and that would be variables. So what is a variable? It's something that temporarily stores or holds a value. I'm sure you've worked with variables in math maybe, such as uh, algebra, like x2. Well, what does x equal? That's what you have to figure out. Well, in Python, it's pretty simple. We just give a variable a name. That's how we create one. And then we assign it a value. So such as we can make a variable subscribe that can that's literally now our variable name and then we use what's known as the assignment operator so just like the mathematical operators did something with numbers the assignment operator does something with variables and values it assigns a value to a variable so the the uh, whatever we put after this assignment operator is what the value of the variable subscribe will be. So we can make it a number, and then we can see that value by using the print function. Uh, we can print the variable subscribe. We don't need to use quotes or anything because it's just a, it's now pretty much an item in our, our program, so we can just use it like that. Uh, print subscribe. If we did something like this, Well now, it literally prints the text subscribe, and that's not what we want to do. We want to print the value of the variable subscribe. So that's why we do not use quotes. Now we can also assign it a string value. So we could do this. Subscribe is now has the value right now, please. And then we can, uh, we can go, oops, no. Don't, don't print, sorry, that was my bad. We can go print, subscribe, and, oops, sorry, I meant to change the quotes there. So we can take out these quotes because we don't want to print the string. 
and it literally prints right now please the text right now please another thing we can do is we can have a different variable so we could have the variable uh, <laughs> might as well advertise this whole time you know click like has the value if you like the video now we can uh, print that by the way I'm scrolling back on my commands by pressing alt P and then uh, we can just put print click like and you can see it gives us the value if you like this video or if you like the video now what happens if we assign the value of a variable another variable like this what if we do subscribe has the value click like then we print subscribe here let me not put space there print subscribe you can see that the old value of subscribe was right now please once we assigned it to click like it took the value of click like which was if you like the video so now subscribe and click like both have the same values make sense oops so uh, let's let's try something new let's pr let's change the value of click like and we're just gonna make it equal to five and then we print subscribe and you can see that the value of subscribe did not change so that means they are two separate things here let me let me illustrate this in paint now you can see we basically made a copy of the variable but they're still two separate they're not both pointing to the same value we have subscribe here and then we have click like here so that means when we change click like to something else uh, such as uh, it, uh, 5 just the value 5 well now subscribe stayed the same because it's it's a one-time kind of thing so hopefully that wasn't too confusing probably but anyways uh, that's how you create variables and then we can do things with this variable such as do math so let's say we have a job and we get paid ten dollars uh, every hour okay so we can make variable our pay equal ten I'm sorry not equal we can assign the value ten probably shouldn't say equal because it's technically not an equal sign it's an assignment operator so then we can say a bonus of 100 then we can say hours worked equal uh, is assigned the value 20. So it's basically saying we've worked 20 hours, we get paid $10 an hour, and we have a bonus of $100. $100. So to do math this, we could say hours worked multiplied by hour pay plus the bonus. And we get the final value 300. So yeah, that's all I really have to say. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.